Hey, what's up everybody? So tomorrow I'm gonna to be flying to Philadelphia and I will be starting to work on finishing this bad boy. So I'm meeting with Hood, who is my tattoo artist that did my blackout on this part of my arm. And then the next day I will be trying to figure out what I do with the rest of this tattoo. So I wanna black out obviously the rest of this, but I'm considering, do I keep the tiger or do I get rid of the tiger? It's an option. Any thoughts on that? So it'll come up here, up into my arm right here, and I was thinking of possibly keeping the tiger. And how would I work that underneath there? Because this is all gonna be blacked out from here. Probably make a line into here. And I guess I could go around this a bit. But then where do you stop? If you cover the whole thing, where does it stop, right? That's the question. And so it's, it's kind of difficult to figure out. Here we go, Philadelphia. This is taking a long time. Philly, here I am. I opted for a taxi versus a uh, Uber. Yeah, this is crazy. I cannot get into my room. Like, there, there's no getting in. Let's see if they answer. Not good. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm trying to check in to 402A. No English. No English. It's okay. Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Thank okay. you. Okay. No worries. Okay. Thanks for trying. Okay. So I was. So I am in Philadelphia, about to get a tattoo. I'm meeting with Hood. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous, you know, because obviously this shit hurts. I mean, let's be honest, it hurts. Like, I think it's 32 needles, he said. It's quite a few needles in there that are just grinding away at your skin. Why the hell would you want to do that and hurt yourself like that? I don't know, I'm just naturally an artist. Um, I love the idea of the cleanness of it, and I've always loved getting tattoos. It sort of marks this point in my life where I'm changing or something has happened. It's, it's big moments in my life. I, I, I can never define the moments exactly, which is crazy, um, until I've lived them. Then I can look back and say, oh, that's what it was. But no more blackout after this. I seriously doubt I'll do that. I'm starving. I want to go eat a Philly ch cheesesteak sandwich. I'm in Philadelphia. Let's check it out. something. I don't know what, but it's been rough, dude. Guys, this is a really crazy, like, colorful neighborhood. It's nuts, dude. It's like, so old. So many different kinds of people. It's crazy. I think I'm walking through Chinatown. I forgot I had to go to Bank of America now. Made it to Bank of America, yo. It's amazing. I'm already stuffed. Since I didn't need, like, really got me. That's amazing. This is the City Hall, the gates of City Hall. 
in Philadelphia. I'm not really sure where Hood's tattoo shop is. I know it's called Black Vulture Gallery and it's in the fish bowl. Is that what it is? I'll video that tomorrow so you can sort of check it out, meditate here tonight because tomorrow I'm gonna have to go into a deep trance to deal with the pain. The blackout tattoo, I mean, it's beautiful, but it, it is it's painful. This whole place kind of Rather beautiful times. Gorgeous. Gorgeously gothic. Gorgeously gothic and scary. Look at that. I think I might have successfully almost made it back. Pretty, pretty happy about that. That is a store with a little bit of graffiti on the window. It's amazing because down here there's these funky little brownstones. Like, it's incredible. Reminds me of like a combo of Savannah, Charleston, a few other places I can think of, New Orleans. Here it is, my home sweet home. So I'm gonna try to sort of take a break tonight, relax a little bit, grind out a little bit of work, and um, get ready for tomorrow. Hood in the gallery, he doesn't talk much, he doesn't say much. I mean, he does to me, but on camera, no. He, he's not the guy that likes to be on camera, definitely. He's more anonymous and I dig that, I respect that, and I really enjoyed being in the city. Pretty cool to be back in a, a bigger city. A lot of flavor here, a lot of flavor. A lot of art in Philly, there's a lot of art. There's a lot of homelessness. Not super clean, Philly is pretty dirty. Um, but there's a vibe, there's a heartbeat, and um, it's a grit. It's not really dirty, it's more of like a grit. Um, and I can tell that the people here love it. There's a pride in the city of Philadelphia. It's an energy. You can feel it when you're here. I, I enjoy it. It's not where I would want to live, but it's an interesting visit, no doubt, and it definitely fits the tattoo culture. <coughs> Just woke up in Philadelphia. I gotta get this tattoo done, so I, I got some good sleep. My neck is a little tight, but I'm ready to go. Check out this view in the morning. Okay, I've got to repair the arm. So I'm gonna shave, I'm gonna shave the arm now, get it ready. Headed out to get this tattoo. <clears throat> I'm gonna go run out there and grab some coffee right now. So, here we go, another walk in Philly. Shelly this morning. <clears throat> On my way to get coffee in the Super stoked. Okay, I'm, I'm getting, tasting coffee here. What's this place called? Elixir. Elixir, it's pretty good actually. Where's it from? This is a blend. Mm -hmm. So, some South American, some Central American. Can I do like a triple shot? Yeah. Cool. Okay, I'm done at Elixir now. Just gonna grab a quick bite to eat. So I've got my stomach full because I'm not gonna be able to eat again until tonight. I'll have to leave the tattoo shop quickly and then head right to the airport. So, I think this is Cafe Lift. I'm just saying like I probably shouldn't be having a lot of caffeine so she brought me like an herbal tea sort of chill before I get this massive tattoo going. If I have too much caffeine, I'm jittery and um, not that at ease, so I just had a couple of shots of espresso, which I know has a little bit less caffeine than, say, a regular cup of coffee. Here we go. 
Okay, that breakfast was awesome. Truly awesome, that breakfast was awesome. I loved it. The waitress was super nice. The people here are very friendly. People are so sweet in Philadelphia. You would never imagine that because of its, well, somewhat rough exterior. I mean, it's, it's rough, it's cold. They're older and then partially remodeled in ways. It's, it's funky. Because of the age, they've had to be remodeled at times. I have tattoo preparations to make. I'm on my way to the, uh, the gallery now. That's it, bro. That's it. Right here? Yep. Okay, I'm outside the tattoo shop. Here we go. Head it in. I'll try to do some video, but I'm on my own, so it's going to be kind of hard to video and get the tattoo. But here goes. On my way out, food is amazing. And that was a great, great tattoo. Okay, I'm super wiped out, like, that was tough, that tattoo. We went five hours straight without stopping once. We didn't even take a sip of water, it was just, I took a sip of water, he did not even take a sip of water. He just went and went and went and went. Yeah, I thought I was probably gonna die at the end, to be honest. It was like that. It's wrapped up now. Got the Black Vulture Gallery tee on. Hood is the guy for Blackout. Definitely wanna go to him. He's the one. Don't stop and think about it. Just go. He knows what's up. He knows what he's doing. I'm about to jump on a flight. Back home now. Super stoked to get back home, take a shower. I'll show some of the progress on this bad boy. See how it heals up. And um, yeah, that was, a, that was a fun little trip. Definitely in a lot of pain this morning, no doubt. But um, I went all the way up over. Tiger is gone for good.